you know, I wanted to get into some uh, current events, current topics. You know, there's a lot of stuff going on in hip hop. Yeah, yeah. You know, Pooh Shiesty <laughs> was just arrested yeah. for uh, apparently a shooting. Yeah. Um, you know, there's a video where, you know, um, before this shooting happened, where he's in the club and yeah. he looks mad. You the know, niggas in front of him listening to the third. And, and I know the, what you talk about. Yeah, it just. And, the, and there's some dudes screaming. You know, allegedly <laughs> they they stole some money from him, or maybe they, maybe he had it in his pocket. Not not really quite yeah. sure. He denied it. Look, bro, you got to think. A nigga just basically said from his lawyer speaking on it, and that's what his lawyer basically said. If you kind of was going through the the fucking um the posts and all um the social media shit. It's like he had money on him, he dropped it. Him strapped, knowing what type of money he got on him, he just probably fought. Yeah, but a bad back. You know what I mean? Like, this is my dough. It might have been 50 bands. It might have been 60, 80 bands on the floor. I'm not giving man nigga the opportunity to even try to play stupid, but grab the shit off the floor. The, the bitches is on the stage. You see what I'm saying? The hoes is on the stage making the money. We walking at the dough. And y'all down grabbing? No. Nah. Back, back, back. back. <laughs> Come on, nigga got a nigga, nigga, the, nigga got rice out here. You see what I'm saying? Back, back. Hold up. Well, he, he's being charged with aggravated battery with a firearm. Yeah, you gotta think, you a rapper, bro. Rappers go through the most. You see what I'm saying? How they got you looking at it and seeing it today. Later on, probably a couple of months, you go back to court for it. All them charges might be dropped. You see what I'm saying? Because at the, at, at the very start of the, the, the case, it's gonna be the, the worst of the worst. But as you go through it and fight it, you start saying with that good lawyer or whoever it is that's defending you, we're gonna get this shit dropped. And you know I went in the wrong. Nigga ain't about to, niggas ain't about to just come up off me, walk through the club, you see what I'm saying? I ain't the hooker. Y'all better go tip them hookers or steal from them hookers. I'm a real nigga out here. Hold up. Yeah, he's, uh, you know, unfortunately, you know, he, pro, hopefully he'll beat it. But I mean, he's looking at, if convicted, a mandatory minimum of 20 years. Yeah. For, and it doesn't even, you know, I, the dude, it was a security guard that got shot in the foot. Yeah. Supposedly. You got to think, if that nigga right there been a real nigga, <clears throat> if he fall back, he don't testify, give his words, his statement, do nothing, then he got a good ass lawyer. Case dismissed. Nothing else to be said. Next question. <laughs> you hear me? That's how I go in court. Next question. Let's go. No, I hear Period. you. Period. What'd you think of Kid Cudi wearing a dress on SNL? I feel like um, everybody entitled to do what the fuck they want to do as a man or a female. Within birth, you know your, your gender, right? And then you know what to wear with them being a man. And then you know what not to wear because you ain't a woman. If you take on wearing what you don't post to wear as a man, that's just what the fuck you want to do, right? And you entitled to do what the fuck you want to do because you grown, right? Let's go and keep it popping. Next question. Let that man go on to live. I ain't going to do it, though. <laughs> Tell you that right now. I ain't going to do it, period. But everybody is entitled to do what the fuck they want to do. Basically, what I'm saying. Period. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, I agree everybody has the right to do what they want to do. Yeah. I just... You know, it's kind of send a bad example, I think. For a yeah, lot of for people. the kids. You know what I mean? And I just say that because I got a daughter. And she a daughter, so she's supposed to wear dresses and skirts and shit like that. But for the males up and coming in eighth grades and ninth grades and fifth grades and they boys, little men, yeah, they don't supposed to see that shit. But like I say, the world lets you do this. The TV show you niggas kissing. The TV show you women kissing. That's on BET. That's on MTV. That's on VH1. So the, the world right now is kind of effed up. So at the end of the day, bro, like, it's a lot that we got to correct. If we going to talk about Kid Cudi, let's talk about this other shit, too. You hear me? Straight up, being a man. Recently, Little Reese yeah. was shot again. Yeah. And, you know, it just, you know, both of you guys yeah. have been shot two different times. Yeah. And... You know, when we first heard the news, I was really shocked, you know, because I know that after, you know, when I interviewed him, you know, he talked about, you know, I interviewed him recently 
and he gave me, talked about the whole story about being shot in the throat and you know everything like that. Yeah. And it just seems like it's more and more dangerous for rappers. You know? Did you Hell see yeah. the? Uh, did you see the news about Little Reese? Yeah, bro. I'm like, an internet nigga, not like that, but. When I come from the studio or dealing with my family or whatever the case may be on that personal level, I get to the house and just online for like a whole hour or two, smoking pot, but looking at all the popular shit from artist to artist and the way that shit was popping from leaking and what they saying about sending cars and the weed and it's just, niggas be setting niggas up out here. Niggas be, you know what I mean, having mixed signals and you know what I mean? Mixed agendas about some shit, but when it comes down to it, that's when we find out the real. And I feel like it's, it's deeper than what we see. What they showed us was like him leaking, him fucked off, or they wanted him dead. But why they want him dead? Why he got shot? What happened? That's what we gonna find out from that nigga. Like from the goat mouth, you see know what I'm saying? That part, and we gonna see, but that was fucked up, and we gotta keep it pushing. That's why I been out the way, bro, like, not like that. I'm really rapping, rapping now. <laughs> so I said, I'm ready in the studio, <laughs> studio now. Real, real talk, got to, because if not, it's, 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 it's gonna happen again or something, you know what I mean? Love for bit, period. That's why I'm on my tip. Yeah, we, yeah, we don't really know the whole story, you know? I mean, I, I don't know, there was some lady screaming about a stolen car or, you know, stuff like that, but how do you stay out of those bad situations from, you know, has a rapper now and you're coming up you know, trying to trying to move out, you know, differently and everything. How do you try to stay out of those situations? It's just the shit that you normally do and what you're used to doing and how you will maneuver in these streets day to day. Like, you got to cut that out. You know what I mean? Like, you got to think what's necessary and what's just play play or this on some, some bullshit. Like, if it ain't about money, your family or something that's beneficial, like, like why are you out here? Like, what you doing? Like, like, like chill. Go write a rap. Let's go, let's go, go get a fresh mind. That's what I wasn't doing. You know what I mean? I was off, I was off some bullshit fucking up. And just, just going and going and going. So, nowadays, what's keeping me, like, motivated and, like, surviving? Like, out the way, bro. And just thinking of more. And what I can potentially, like, pursue. You know what I mean? Or... Some more money I can possibly get, you know what I mean? Who want a verse or thinking about another song or something? Real talk, I gotta do other things within this rap versus just street, you know what I mean? I was just strictly street around that time, but halfway in the game. Now I'm like fully in the game. I ain't thinking about streets, I ain't thinking about on the block, I ain't thinking about none of that. It's just strictly like business, bringing that paper in, you know what I mean? So now you're just using music over the streets. To help keep, you know what I'm saying, plus yeah, over the streets the and to help you, you know, stay, stay out of more bad situations. Hell yeah. Got to, bro.